Welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to solve some pandas interview questions. I'm going to create a dataset and I will use it on all questions. We will simulate a personal database with columns name, age, gender, salary, and department. I'm just going to paste the data in here and run this. And now we can get to the data frame creation part. Let's import pandas and transform our data into a pandas data frame as pd and we are going to say df is going to be equal to the pd data frame and we'll pass our data inside and let's see it by df here it is we have two numeric and three categorical columns okay we can start with the first interview question can you extract the records of employees who are older than 30 and earn more than fifty thousand dollars for this let's say filter data and it's going to be equal to the df and we are going to open brackets then parentheses since we are going to use two conditions inside df age greater than 30 and we'll use end operator here which will let us add two conditions inside of this df salary greater than let me fix this greater than 50,000 here and let's print our filtered data. Great, we filtered our data by two conditions using AND operator. Question number two, can you retrieve the average salary for every department? We are going to use a group by here. We are going to say average salary by department is going to be equal to the df.groupby department and we are going to take the values of salary not mean we are going to use mean aggregation function here let's print this seems great we used group by and grouped our data by department and took the mean values of salary now question three can you add a new column age group based on age range young mid and senior so if the age is under 30 for that entry you are going to return young if it's under 50 you are going to return mid and else you are going to return senior and then you need to use apply if you are going to solve it by yourself but if you want to solve it with me just keep watching we are going to do this by let's define a function with categorize age we are going to pass age inside and we are going to say if age is less than or equals to 30 then return young else if age less than or equals to 50 we are going to return mid else return senior and we are going to do this in new column as let's say age group is going to be equal to the df age that apply categorize age and let's print this you can see the new column here we created young mid young young we don't have any seniors in our data set we defined a function for this categorization and we used apply method for creating a new data frame now i'm going to ask a combination question so i'm going to create a new data set for this I'm just going to paste it here and run this and let's see our new data. Here it is. Okay, here's the question for combine these two data sets based on name column. For this, we are going to say, let's say merge data is going to be equal to the df dot. We will use merge method education df on name column and we are going to use how inner join print merge data great we used merge method with setting how as inner on the name column you can merge data sets easily like this if they have the same column names now question 5 imagine we have missing values in the salary column and we don't want to drop them we are going to do a filling operation on it doesn't matter which one it is how would you do that Let's fill with mean, we can say df salary 
that fill and a method we are going to use we will say df salary dot mean and by setting in place equal to true we don't need to reassign it and let's print data frame since we don't have any missing values it's not going to change anything but this line will fill the na values with the mean of the salary column okay we can move on to the question six question six create a new column adjusted salary by increasing every employee's salary by 10 percent okay we can do this by df adjusted salary is going to be equal to the df salary and we'll multiply it with 1.1 let's print df here here it is now question 7 can you show the age distribution of employees we are going to do import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt we are going to use matplotlib we are going to use histogram here since it's a numeric distribution we will say age and let's set bins as 10 we can change this later on edge color as black and let's set x label as age y label as frequency title as age distribution of employees and use plt.show here for displaying it there is a typo there, matplotlib. Now it's going to work smoothly. Great, we just imported matplotlib and created a histogram since we are asked for numerical columns distribution. If we have more data, it was going to look better, but since we don't have a lot of entries, it looked like this. Question 8. Find the average salary of male employers, older than 30. For this, we are going to say average salary male above 30 and it's going to be equal to the DF and we are going to use brackets and since we are going to use two conditions, I'm going to open parentheses DF gender equals to male and for the second condition, we are going to say DF age greater than 30 and we are going to use the salary values here and we are going to use that mean let's print this it's not true one actually average salary male here it is great we used two conditions with and operator now question nine can you encode the gender column using one hot encoding also let me let me give you a hint here you are going to use get dummies method from pandas let's do this one hot encoded df is going to be equal to the pd dot get dummies we will pass data frame columns is going to be equal to the gender and what we are going to do is for the extra step we are going to say prefix is going to be equal to the gender let's print this here it is we can see gender female and gender male here we used get dummies method for this question number 10 last question show the employees with the top two salaries in the engineering department since we have only two entries in engineering department we need to return two of them but Let's answer the question in the way that we have a large data set and think this as just a sample. For this, we are going to say top salaries engineering is going to be equal to the DF department equals to engineering and we are going to use and largest method here two and we will pick the salary here let's print this and see if they both return from this yeah here it is also you can see that it's sorted based on the salary great 
We filtered the engineering department and used and largest for getting the top two employees. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more data science content on your YouTube feed, you can subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.